from Nuranka Mens, the Ankh, African Origins of Electromagnetism. The Tree of Life, Jet Battery, provided sufficient power for the creation of electromagnetic radiation. The Egyptians not only knew the world was round, they knew the force which turned it was a perpendicular electric and magnetic field. They used elements of electronic circuitry to represent the spiritual nature of life. The Ang circuit is a relaxation oscillator, charging and discharging through the spark gap, to provide excitation for the loop circuit in the figure below. Can't post diagram. A minimum of 300 volts is required to produce a spark across the gap. The relaxation oscillator, dot with, the use of cam, galena, generates, a more effective continuous wave excitation oscillator, dot that, requires significantly lower voltage. The loop and plates above are also a tank circuit which is shunted across the gap and capacitatively coupled to the input resonance circuit. This transmitter radiates UHF power to onks of comparable size within the vicinity. So, here is a straight-up answer to the question, what are the technological uses APPLICATIONS of the UNC? Answer, they can be used to transmit UHF power to ANKHS of comparable size within the vicinity. None of I and I answered the question in such a straightforward manner. Most youths are somewhat familiar with UHF from their TV sets. I and I understand that the picture we see on TV is transmitted from an antennae transmitter somewhere through UHF frequencies. In ancient times, I and I didn't use video cameras to record images to magnetic tape and transmit them. There must have been some other source of the images, either cosmic or mental. So a good challenge for I and I is to understand how to use the super fast, light-sensitive organic semiconductors called melanin and electronic images in I and I brain to transmit, using the relaxation oscillator, UNC, images to another UNC, and have them decoded by another human being holding that UNC. This won't be easy. Maybe I and I are already doing this, but if so, it is unconscious. I and I can learn how to consciously, with specific measurable action, direct this energy in the service of African liberation. Something like this exercise could constitute an onc electromagnetic lab course to supplement the theory, seen? Have two African people stand at a distance, holding an onc, the first drawing a mental picture in the mind and attempting to send the picture, the second to attempt to clear the mind and receive the picture. When the picture is received, the second can check with the first to see if it is correct. This exercise and others could make this understandable and exciting to the youth, whose destiny is to learn these ancient scientific applications.